What separates the ordinary from the extraordinary, or the average from the exceptional? Some experts theorize that a person's trajectory in life is based solely on the environment that they were raised in, while others are adamant that it is largely dependent on winning the genetic lottery. Consider this quote by J. Jackson Brown Jr., who once said, Don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to Helen Keller, Pasteur, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. His point is that how we use our time is in large part determinative of our life's trajectory. It is with this mindset that we explore the extraordinary life of Elon Musk, who, without question, understands this very point and extracts every minute of every day to achieve his transformative goals. In the early 1990s, well before Elon Musk became a household name, Musk developed a habit that he continues to this very day that he sincerely believes ensures him the greatest chances of success. Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Many wealth experts predict that Elon Musk will become the world's first trillionaire thanks in large part to the bright prospects of his extraordinarily innovative companies, but perhaps more directly as a result of his tenacious drive to excellence. Currently, he is the CEO of Tesla, which is currently the most valuable car company in the world. He is the founder, CEO, and CTO of SpaceX, which is leading the world in the space race. Additionally, he is also the founder or co-founder of several other ventures, including Neuralink, The Boring Company, and OpenAI. What's particularly telling about what Elon Musk is made of is a recent television interview where, despite being the richest person in the world and capable of staying at the very best hotels money can buy, in December 2020, while in Germany checking on construction progress of Giga Berlin, Musk appeared in an interview and gave us some perspective on his mindset. Where do you sleep tonight? In the, in the, tonight it's in the factory. In, a, in the factory, not uh, in a hotel? Well, technically in a conference room in the factory, but yeah. You sleep in a conference room in the not finished factory tonight? Yeah, it gives me a good feel for what's going on. Alone or? Uh... Yeah, I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an invitation? <laughs> so how does someone so heavily involved in all of these transformative and leading companies still find time to be so incredibly productive? What sacrifices has he made and is continuing to make in order to make it all happen? Where does this drive to succeed come from? The short answer is that he simply works at least twice as hard as the average person but let's look a bit deeper to see what we can learn. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you find our content interesting and want to keep learning about the trailblazers in our world and what makes them tick. Leave a comment and let us know you subscribed and we'll try to reach out and let you know we appreciate you watching our videos. Let's start at the beginning. When Musk was a child, he was so introspective and seemingly lost in his own daydreams that his parents and doctors ordered tests to check his hearing. Musk's mother, May Musk, would later comment that he goes into his brain and then you just see he is in another world. He still does that. Now I just leave him be because he is designing a new rocket or something. Growing up in Pretoria, South Africa, Musk quickly learned the value of capitalism and hard work when he, his brother Kimball, and their cousins would travel around the wealthy parts of the city selling homemade chocolate Easter eggs for 20 times their cost. Musk has also been quite open about his difficult childhood and the extensive bullying he endured while growing up in South Africa, eventually learning how to defend himself with karate, judo, and wrestling. 
His upbringing, the good and the bad, certainly helped shape him into who he is today. In a 2010 interview, and years before he was trapped in the 2018 car production hell, which he felt required him to sleep in his factories, Musk was asked to provide his thoughts on what makes a successful entrepreneur. Aside from a great idea and a tenacious ambition to strive for perfection, he broke it down quite simply for the rest of us. If, if, if other people are putting in 40-hour work weeks and you're putting in 100-hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Providing some additional insight into the inner workings of his extraordinary mind and what sets him apart from the average person, in November 2018, in response to a Wall Street Journal Twitter post entitled, Tesla is one of Silicon Valley's most in-demand employers, despite or because of Elon Musk, Musk responded on Twitter that, there are easier places to work, but nobody ever changed the world on 40 hours a week. And when directly asked what was the correct number of hours per week to change the world, Musk replied that it varies per person, but about 80, sustained, peaking above 100 at times, pain level increases exponentially above 80. To put that into perspective, 80 hours a week is over 10 hours more than the average CEO of a multi-billion company works in a week. Also, taking into consideration that the average American work week in 2020 for Americans was 34.6 hours a week, as an employee for one of Musk's companies, you should certainly expect to exceed those averages. According to some media reports, Elon Musk has his workday divided into five and 10 minute intervals. He doesn't waste time talking about things that he considers non-essential, and he strictly adheres to his schedule. Unlike other billionaires, Elon doesn't focus a lot on the business side of things. Instead, he likes to get his hands dirty with his engineering teams and solve technical problems. Ensuring that he is a walk the talk type of leader Elon Musk has been working 80 to 120 hour weeks for more than a decade now, which doesn't leave him much time for sleep. In 2018, when Tesla failed to meet its Model 3 output targets, Elon moved into the factory for two weeks. He was sleeping in a sleeping bag in the factory and sometimes even on the roof. But Elon did sleep here, even on the roof. Yeah, so. Slept on the roof. He slept on the roof, yeah. Wow. So this it's year, a beautiful scenery, yeah? It gets a little cold at night. Yeah. Musk was so involved that he was real-time triaging cars at the end of a production line, trying to get to the root cause of the issues. Sleeping at his factories has become quite routine for Elon Musk, as indicated by his frequent Twitter posts of back to sleeping at factory, car biz is hell. During a recent interview, he mentioned that he slept on the factory floor, not because he thought that it was a fun place to sleep, but because he didn't have enough time to go home and shower. He described the experience as painful and terrible. He further said that he didn't believe that people, his employees, should be experiencing hardship while their CEO was off on vacation. This hands-on approach is all part of Musk's leadership style. What's particularly interesting is that when Musk was at the peak of his sleeping in the factory days throughout 2018, Tesla's share price was hovering around $55. With the perspective of the present-day share price north of $800, it certainly seems to indicate that his obsessive compulsion with excellence has paid off. This insane work ethic has allowed him to make Tesla and SpaceX both highly successful companies and has won him great appreciation and admiration. However, this work ethic doesn't come without its side effects. Musk himself has readily admitted that his passion for excellence and lack of sleep has been terrible, that he certainly burnt out a bunch of neurons during the process. While the results of this unquenchable dedication to greatness are undeniable, it remains to be seen whether this passion will take its toll on Musk. What are your views on Elon's insane work ethic? 
Do you think it is replicable for other business leaders? Let us know by leaving a comment below and a like on our video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and to press the bell icon as well so that you can watch our future videos as they get released. We'll see you guys in the next one.